Feedback Friday is brought to you by ProWrestlingTees.com, your destination for all the hottest wrestling t-shirts at low prices with super fast shipping. ProWrestlingTees.com also houses the full line of PWR merchandise in the PWR shop along with other tees from your favorite wrestling stars. Head to ProWrestlingTees.com after the show to see the latest merchandise lineup. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the return of PWR Feedback Friday, brought to you by ProWrestlingTees.com. Damian Nelson sitting here alongside David Hero. David, how are you here on a Friday? I love Fish Fry Friday. This is my favorite Good, I'm show glad you're week. able to do that this evening because it is currently Feedback Friday, where we take feedback electronically from our viewing audience. Why? We, they don't know what they want or what they like. We have to tell them. <clears throat> Let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, go to your first uh, comment of the week, which was left on our YouTube channel, where oh many of you goodness. watch the show. This is a YouTube user by the name of D. Knight Walker, who had some comments on Impact Wrestling. He says, and I quote, I used to follow TNA, but stopped watching around 2011 because I was disappointed with the product they were producing. This week, I decided to give TNA a chance after hearing good things about their last couple of shows. I'm happy I did. I enjoyed the show and I'm looking forward to next week's Impact Wrestling. While watching the show, I cannot help but remember what Al Snow said on this show back in March of this year about characters and how the business hasn't changed. I have to admit that he was absolutely right. The show is so much better when it has believable characters that you can connect with and storylines that are easy to follow but fun to enjoy. If this is what TNA is going to be from now on, I can see myself tuning in every week. How about that? From an D. internet Walker. wrestling community fan enjoying a TNA Impact wrestling segment. Why do you have to label them? It's just a fan who chooses to watch us on the internet. No, but they're a, they're a huge audience. And that's what they like to be called, the IWC. What, what do, you, do you like to be categorized and called? I'm a... always categorized. It's brilliant, handsome, charming, adorable. Mm -hmm. Impact Wrestling last night from New York City. Yes. The Manhattan Center. It happened. It did. Dixie Carter. She got finally. wood. She got wood. Gets finally. put through a table by Bully Ray last night on Impact Wrestling. Uh, this was the, I believe, final episode of their current set of TNA Impact Wrestling tapings in New York. Yes. Where they were also taping this past Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in New York yes. for their next series of shows, and they were going back to New York in yeah. September. Well, but maybe. Because right now they have enough TV contact to get them through October 1st. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh. Well, they've got to figure something out after that. Well, yeah. So they might not, like go, where back. It's gonna air. They might not go back in September. He mentioned Al Snow. Al Snow, a big part of that eight-man Monsters Ball match. Well, tomorrow night. It's not night, a Monsters Ball. You sure it wasn't? It was not. Oh, Full Metal no, Street it was Mayhem, a, it was a hardcore, hardcore match, yes. Lumberjack yes. Rules match. Yes. Al Snow, a big part of that match, a surprise in New York last night on Impact Wrestling. Tomorrow night on this very show, PWR, Al Snow will be our guest right here in studio, and he's going to talk about that matchup, and I think he'll be a little surprised as to what he says uh, the significance of that match was for, for him. Yes. That tomorrow night on PWR Primetime Saturday night. Now, the next comment comes to us from Twitter. Of course, you know you can follow us on Twitter, at PWR Show on Twitter. Also, each of us individually, at Damian Nelson, at... David uh, what's your Hero. name on Twitter? David Hero. Oh, I thought you had some gimmick name. And, of course, at Linda K 22 Why is she 22? Well, she's is 22 it? now, but she lived to see 23. Oh, good question. I don't know. She's living in the gangster's paradise. Yes, she is. Uh, at one, it's 23-24, I know, but I changed it. Okay. At one... What do you mean by gangster's paradise? It's a song by Coolio. In oh, Maya, I, believe. I thought you met... Is it Maya? Mia? She MYA. was cute back in the day. I remember. Are you saying she's not now? I don't know what, what she about looks DeBrett? like. Do you think DeBrat is still cute? It depends on the, on the setting for DeBrat. Like if she is in Miami, she could be. At one Mr. Underscore E <laughs> says, and this is for you, at David Hero, how long should a good promo last? A good promo should last as long as the audience, the crowd is into it. Once the, the, once the audience or crowd loses interest, that's when you take it home. How do you know when they lost interest? You can tell. How can you tell? There's a buzz, there's a feedback, you can tell if they start doing stupid chants, whatever what? else. Exactly. What? Like that. What? Annoying. What? 
Is that really an annoying chant, or is it fans' symbolization of boredom, or no, is it fans what it is, wanting to be involved? They want to be involved, and they are hoping that the talent in the ring can participate back with them. They want acknowledgement. They, yes, that's what everybody wants. Everyone is an attention whore. I'm sorry, but I would rather you not call our viewers whores. Have you seen some of them? Uh, apparently not the same <laughs> ones you have. <laughs> Get on Twitter more often. On Twitter, at BMJohnson969 asked the following. The fans have faith in this company, and we know it w they will make it. The question is, what does Impact Wrestling do next? This, of course, coming off the heels of last week's story on Primetime about the dissension or the challenges between Spike TV and Impact Wrestling with the renewal of their television broadcast. You know, I want... I would like TNA Impact Wrestling to keep Impact on the road on Thursdays. On the road but again. The problem Live? with that is you you know, the Manhattan Center seats about twelve hundred people. Sure. So it's about the same size building as what we have Blizzard Brawl with. Yes. But you can't draw you can't go back to that building three times every month. Why not? Eventually the fans are gonna it won't become special anymore. So they're going to have to think of some it, other creative ways be, to get on the road. It may not be special, but is it regular enough? I mean, ECW worked in the same building for how many years? Several. That was a different audience. Wrestling that territories different worked time. in the same buildings in the same city weekly for years. Right, but it was a different time. You didn't have 300 I just heard wrestling hasn't changed. It hasn't changed, but you didn't have 300 cable channels back then. NXT works. It's a different audience. Okay. I, I do not think NXT would draw the same ratings as TNA Impact if they were on television. Yeah, they would. I don't WWE think, can't do any less than one and a half million people for any show they put on I TV. don't think NXT could draw a 1.4 rating. Really? Yes. You haven't watched NXT except for the initial special that they I did. Just don't, I just don't think so. Here's why. TNA Impact Wrestling has bigger stars than NXT does. And they can only do a 1-4. But they don't have the promotional machine behind them that is World Wrestling Entertainment. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll never find out because NXT... Well, I think we might. You think NXT is going to wind up on a, on a network Wouldn't channel? Wouldn't be surprised. I don't think so. Really? Because they need them on, the, on their own network for the subscriptions. Mm -hmm. If you take that show off the network and put it on regular television... The show that no one's going to watch on regular television. Yeah. You're losing money. And you've they lost need, me. They need content. Show. They need content on the network. We'll talk about the network tomorrow night on W. I, on, uh, I won't talk about it now. Primetime. Well, we don't have time. I don't know if you've seen these flashcards being shown to you, but they are indicating that we are currently over time. Oh. All right. Don't so get we hot. definitely Pump want to breaks. thank all of you for you know, you've changed. joining us here on We're done? Feedback Friday. That's all the feedback we got? You know, you've made. How about our exclusive last week? You've made some entrances here on this program that mimic a certain former WWE superstar. If you keep it up, your exit will mimic that. So, so, Alberto so you want me to Rio slap you, well. is what you're saying? <laughs> I am uh, on-air talent, so you'd have to uh, slap Andrew. No. Or Linda. Oh, Linda's on-air talent. Linda too. likes being slapped. We'll see you tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, on primetime for that one. This is Damian Nelson saying thank you for tuning in. Remember, tomorrow night, Al Snow is our guest.